Hey guys, it is time for another monthly grocery haul and this one is kicking off our summer break. So the kids are officially out of school and I made the mistake of taking them with me to the store so they could pick out what they wanted, just special items, because they always have been asking me for the same things. I thought taking them into the store, they, be, they would be able to see the variety and I definitely don't recommend that. <laughs> Definitely don't recommend that. It was a little bit of a fiasco, but we made it home. I definitely picked up a lot of goodies for them this summer. So I ended up going to three stores for getting a setup for the month. I went to HEB, then Sam's, and then I couldn't find everything that I needed at those. And I went into Target just for the last little bit that I needed to finish out some recipes and some meals that I wanted to make. So this haul is definitely heavy on the summer fun side. I have a lot of stuff already here in the house for dinner. So this is lunches, snacks, breakfast, and just some few, a few in between. So I hope you guys enjoy this, but not only do I have this summer fun haul to share with you guys in the description box, I'm going to have a link to mama cat's channel. Now she is so fun. She is in Australia and she shares a weekly grocery haul, which is what I used to do. And I know several of you guys are missing that. So I know you guys are going to love her. She is a family of four. And like I said, she's in Australia, which I think is really cool seeing the difference between grocery groceries that we can get here in the US and then what she is picking up for her family over there in Australia. So I would love for you guys to check her out. Let me go ahead and take you guys down. I will pop up individual prices and I will have all the, like the receipts broken down in the description box so you guys can see the total overall and what I spent on food versus non-food. All right, here is the HEB haul. Not in total though, I have the little buffet behind me pretty full as well. Total was 400 and change, I believe, maybe 401, because I did pick up a few non-food items. <laughs> and the way that their coupons work is, I don't know, based off of the receipt. I cannot remember exactly everything that I had a coupon on, just a few things. So I'll try to tell you where I can. Otherwise, in the description box, I will just have the like amount that I had off saved. But I did not order these. As you can see, there's no rhyme or reason. I just took them out of the bag and put it right on the table. So I've got like produce scattered throughout and frozen stuff scattered. It, nothing is together. So we're just going to go ahead and start back here. So we typically go through two gallons of milk a week. So that is what I picked up the whole milk. Um, and when I do my weekly fill in shopping, I typically pick up milk and then whatever produce or if I'm, you know, making a certain recipe and I forgot something, my weekly trips are much, much smaller <laughs> compared to my monthly. Also, I do let the kids have chocolate milk once a month. So I got one gallon of the HEB chocolate milk. Then my daughter Paige picked up this Arizona iced tea with lemon flavor. She got that for herself. I got some HEB queso dip to go with some taquitos that you guys are gonna see uh, here in a minute two creamers because I went to the nice fancy HEB and that's where I have been able to find this coconut cream, the sugar free that I like to put with my Coke Zero and a little bit of lime and it is just a fantastic drink. I definitely feel like I drink this more during the hot months dur than during the winter. So I did pick that up and then my creamer of choice for this month, I will probably have to pick up one more, but creamer typically lasts me a couple of weeks. I got the Italian sweet cream in the sugar-free. And then heavy whipping cream, I like to have on hand, plus my oldest daughter um, said that she needed some for something. I think she's been making Alfredo. Yeah, that's what it is. She's been making some homemade Alfredo and she is definitely really loving that here lately. So I got that. I found the burrata. So typically I pick it up from Trader Joe's. I had a few of you let me know that it can be found at HEB as well, and I did find it. I think this was something that was on sale or like a dollar off or something, but I did go ahead and pick this up, and there's two four ounce balls in there. It's fresh mozzarella cheese, and then it's filled with shreds of mozzarella soaked in cream. So this is really yummy on the side of any like Italian or pasta dish, super good. All right, Paige and I love this spinach dip. It's been a long time since we picked it up. So I did go ahead and pick that up. We'll probably bust into this today. 
Paige also picked up some roasted red pepper hummus. And Paige, if you guys are new, is my almost 17, she'll be 17 in July, 17 year old. So she actually, all four of the kids went with me. So they each picked out quite a few things. All right, over here, we got some pepperoni minis, making lunches for the kids a lot more this summer. They ate at school a lot this year but uh, this summer is gonna be completely different. So we got a lot of little lunch things. Pepperoni minis is one of their favorites. Then back here, I think I forgot this. My daughter Paige picked up some kimchi, some kimchi in the, did I say that kimchi? I don't know if I said that right. Spicy red Napa cabbage. She's been um, wanting some of that, so I'm glad that she found some that she wanted. A watermelon, we'll definitely be picking up a watermelon every single week. Uh, I might even pick one up at Sam's Club when I go to Sam's Club, so we might have two watermelons for this week. We go through them really, really quickly. The only one of my kids who does not like ramen is Rose. So the other three, you guys will see, I've got quite a few different ramen things going on. So I'm not sure who picked out what, but I've got a chicken flavor packet here a beef flavor packet there, and we have some more um, scattered throughout as well. All right, our favorite salsa, my mom actually got us on this. She had it at one time when we were over her house, and it is just the absolute best salsa. I have no idea, it says Handmade in Texas, so I don't know if this brand is sold in other stores. I can't remember if I purchased it anywhere outside of H-E-B, but H-E-B does carry it, and they have a couple different styles. The restaurant salsa is what I picked up this time. I've got some canned items over here. The kids wanted some SpaghettiOs with no meatballs, so we did pick up two of the bigger cans. I think one, yeah, one is probably enough unless they have friends over for one lunch, so this will just be two random lunches this summer. I need some blueberry pie filling or fruit filling for a recipe so I did get the 21 ounce can of that and then all of us no not all of us two of my kids Bryce and Rose do not like any sort of bean but the other four of us really like uh, refried beans with a number of things breakfast um, tacos uh, sometimes at lunch depending on what we're having we like to like dip certain things in the refried beans so I did pick up two cans of the vegetarian refried beans we like to have these on hand I need some elbow noodles for a recipe so I got these Skinner large elbow no elbow noodles Okay, I let my kids pick out one sweet treat because we are gonna have a movie night this weekend. So Rose picked out Milk Duds with chocolate. It's candy made with chocolate and caramel. And then Pearl picked out these Neon Sour Gummy Worms and Bryce's is over somewhere else. Then I went ahead and got myself some Chobani Flips. I really enjoy these, they're super yummy, either with coffee in the morning or as like a little sweet treat in the afternoon. So I got the Lemon Meringue Pie the Salted Caramel Crunch. This one, actually, I don't think I've ever had the Lemon Meringue Pie before. This is one of my favorites, the Salted Caramel. This one will be new for me to try, and this one's new for me to try, the Chocolate Trifecta. So it is chocolate, low-fat Greek yogurt, with double chocolate fudge, chocolate brownies, and chocolate cookies, yum. And then this is another one of my favorites, the Coffee Brownie Bliss. So I'm excited to get to munch on those. This is something that Rose just saw out of the corner of her eye as we were going down an aisle, and she snagged them. It's the Snack Pack uh, Unicorn Magic Made with Stardust Pudding, and it does have unicorn tattoos inside here. We have picked this up before. So she just grabbed that. I'm actually making some fun little lunch trays for the kids. I think I'm gonna film that as well, like grazing boards for snack and lunch. And I wanted a couple different things. So several of these items is for that as well. I got these yogurt covered raisins. This is a nine ounce bag and the 10 ounce bag of yogurt covered pretzels. Coming back here, Paige and Pearl wanted to give this sesame or toasted sesame seaweed a try. And if they really, really like this, I know they sell something like this in bulk at Costco. So I'll have to tell them to let me know if they liked it that much and I can buy it in bulk because this is pretty shelf stable. So they picked that up to try. Okay, I know Pearl is the one who picked this one up, the Tapatio original hot um, soup mix. It's got, you know, it's the noodle. So it's like a different kind of ramen. She picked that one up. I went ahead and got a box of breadsticks just to have in the freezer for when we have a soup or anything that has like extra sauce. We like to dip the breadsticks in. Then back behind that is some bluebell chocolate chip cookie dough. I let each of the kids, or the I mean the younger three, Paige kind of picked up whatever she wanted. 
but the younger three, I let them each pick out an ice cream to share. So Bryce is the one that got the chocolate chip cookie dough. Then next to that is the taquitos. I don't think Rose is gonna like those, but Pearl and Bryce both love taquitos. I love taquitos as well, so we picked those up. I think there's quite a few in there, 33. So we might have this as a dinner option, like a taco night, and I'll also make some cheese quesadillas, and that way Rose can have those as well. And then that, that is why I picked up the queso, because the taquitos are really good dipped in queso. Also with the blueberry, I needed some strawberry pie filling, so I got a 21 ounce can of that. And I also needed some lemon extract. So I got some lemon extract coming down. I got a pack of avocados. This was the only thing. Whenever I ask my husband, I'm like, hey, I'm going to the store, what do you need? He really only gives me like one or two things and that's it. So this is it for his list because he knows that I pretty much keep us stocked up and he's never wanting for anything in our pantry or refrigerator. So he requested some avocados, got a pack of those. My kids, I originally had the mini carrots on our list. So I got these organic mini cut and peel carrots. And then Bryce was like, mom, can we get the big ones? They really, I don't know. They just think these are cool or something. I also use, use these a lot in cooking. So I did go ahead and get the regular size carrots, not the, you know, already pre-made little ones. So I got a bag of the organic regular carrots as well. I am uh, making some sheet pan meals again this month. So I wanted some asparagus for one of them. I got the 10 ounce bag of asparagus. This was something like totally random as well. I'm telling you, just ask your kids what they want and then go to the store. Don't take them to the store with you. I learned that the hard way today. So <laughs> they saw these mini strawberry donuts. We've never picked these up before. So I did go ahead and let them put it in the cart. They tried to let, they tried to get me to let them have all the flavors. They wanted the chocolate ones and the um, powdered ones as well. And I said, no, we don't need that many. So they uh, were are happy just with trying the new strawberry ones. This was pearls. So Bryce must have picked up that chicken and, and what was that? Chicken and beef? Yeah, chicken and beef. And Pearl picked up the tapatio and this one, lime chili chicken. The pineapple chunks, the bag there, that nine ounce, that is something that Paige requested or picked up. So she got those. Back behind there, we're gonna, let's see. It was, this was something else that was on sale. So I got a box of the Honey Made Graham Crackers. So if you bought that and the chocolate bars that you guys are gonna see, you got the marshmallows that you're also gonna see for free. So I only paid, I'll pop up the price of the marshmallows if it's on my receipt, but I only paid for the box of um, graham crackers and the chocolate bars. Okay, next up, I did go ahead and just grab one Monster. This is, I don't even know, it's just the purple one, ultraviolet. And then this is something else that Paige wanted to pick up, this probiotic. Uh, whole milk, drinkable yogurt, and strawberry. She actually picked up quite a few strawberry things, so she's uh, she's been loving that flavor lately. All right, I let the kids get some yogurt. So they got the Danimal smoothie and the watermelon and strawberry. So this is a 12 pack, there's six of each. And then just right over here, they got the Yo Crunch chocolate chip cookie dough, low fat uh, vanilla yogurt cups. This is something else that Paige picked up for herself, this organic kale chip and the zesty nacho. I'm gonna try some of these too. And if we both like these, this will be something that we can easily make in the air fryer. Something else for dinner, one of the recipes that I'm gonna be making calls for pierogies. So I did get the 16 ounce box of the classic cheddar pierogies. One of our Taco Tuesday nights, I thought I would change it up. We haven't um, picked these up in a long time. So these are the mini bowls and it just makes it fun. Just makes Taco Tuesday night fun. You can see there the picture there. You just put all the ingredients in the middle there and it looks like a little boat, super yummy. Paige picked up this Greek salad. This is one of her favorite things to get from, is it Panera? I wanna say Panera Bread, that they have a Greek salad that she really likes. So when she saw in the fresh section that they had a Greek salad, she wanted to give it a try. And then she also picked up some sushi. So she got the vegetarian roll, and then Pearl got the spicy California roll. And they only had the value packs out. They didn't have like the little one-offs, but I'm sure they will eat all of those because they are huge fans of sushi. I got a mixture of cheeses. I might pick up the turkey when I go to Costco, and I don't know if you guys will see the Costco in this video or if I'll just put up a bonus one this weekend or something for you guys, but I don't need any deli meat right now. I might need some before the end of the month, so that's why I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna pick it up or not, but I did get some cheeses. I got the Munster cheese, which is one of my favorites. The provolone cheese, which quite a few of us in the family like, not everybody, but everybody loves the Colby cheese. So I went ahead and got that as well. 
One of the desserts that I'm gonna be making this month calls for Cool Whip, so I did get a package of Cool Whip. This is one of Rose's favorites when we run out of the chocolate milk. <laughs> she prefers to make her own. I think she just loves to squirt it in the milk and then she uses a straw to mix it up. So I like to keep this in the fridge for her. It's the Hershey's Simply Five. There is Bryce's movie snack that he picked out, the bag of Bunch of Crunch. And then all the way back there, we are completely out of oats and I have a couple recipes that I need to, uh, that I want to make that calls for oats. So I did get the big uh, container of old fashioned oats. Right next to those, this is some ramen that Paige picked out. So I'm not even gonna try to pronounce any of that stuff on there, but it's a family pack. Uh, let's see, there's four packages in there and it's like a spicy, like a really spicy noodle. So she picked those up to try. Then back here are the ice cream items that Rose and Pearl picked. So Pearl picked the bomb pops. Um, these ones are sugar free. There's 12 of them in there. And then Rose picked the Mickey Mouse bar. So it's vanilla ice cream. It's just covered with chocolate. There's six bars in there. Rose loves corn dogs. I think Bryce is over corn dogs right now. Like he's going through a phase where he doesn't like them, but it's really easy during the summertime for me to just make a couple different things and the kids can pick on it. Like I said, I'm gonna be making a lot of different like boards <laughs> this summer for them to um, snack on. So there's 12 in here. I got the bigger pack. I thought that would last us all summer. And coming over here, I also got fish sticks because they all love fish sticks and there's 44. So that should last us a while as well. One thing is I let them each pick out a muffin mix. I'm gonna be meal prepping these so they're already ready in the freezer and they can just pull them out in the morning. So I cannot remember who picked, I think Bryce picked the chocolate chunk. So he picked the Krusty's box. I need some vanilla cake for a recipe. So I got the Duncan Hines classic yellow. I also need some raisins. So I just picked up the Sun Made raisins. Some more strawberry. Like I said, Paige is really into strawberry right now. These two drinks, it, it's kind of different. Like this, there's like a little glass ball that pops. I don't know. But she did pick up two of those. She enjoys those. Also, for her chocolate milk, I typically only pick up one of these a month as well, but they were on sale. I think it would end up being two, like a dollar off of each if you buy two. So it's $2 off. So I did um, go ahead and get two of those. Then this is something else that she picked up as a snack. And I've never seen this before. It is Ocean Spray Fruit Medley with the fiber blend. So craisins, dried cranberries, dried apple, and dried nectarine. It just says cranberry dried fruit blend on here. So she picked that up. I needed some turkey bacon for a recipe, so I got the butterball turkey bacon. I also just grabbed a salad mix to go on the side of dinner one night coming up, and I didn't think that one was enough for us being a family of six, and I'm gonna leave the bacon out on the side so um, Paige can have this, she'll just uh, she won't add the bacon because she doesn't like to eat meat, but the rest of us do. So I did get two of the same bag. It's the chopped kits, and this is the bacon Caesar because we all really love Caesar salad. Coming over here, I've got some sausage, two of the beef smoked sausage for recipe, and then one of the turkey smoked sausage. Here is the muffin mix that Pearl picked out. She got the Martha White strawberry cheesecake. Then we come over here, some more ramen. This is the one that Paige likes the most, the soy sauce one. There's really not a whole lot of meatless options for ramen, so this is definitely her favorite. Here's the marshmallows that were completely free, so the jet puffed marshmallows. Brussels sprouts, this is going on a sheet pan meal as well. I love Brussels sprouts, so does Paige and my husband, Mark. Then I made a chicken tortilla soup not too long ago, and I was thinking that it would be really fun and, and yummy to have these to go on it. So I'm sure I'll make some other type of like nacho or chicken tortilla soup this month. So I did go ahead and pick up the tortilla strips just to have on hand. And that way we can add those to whenever we make that soup. This was a complete impulse buy from me, like last minute. This was the last thing that I put in my cart. As we were heading to the register, the kids are complaining, I'm done with the day. <laughs> and I saw these and I was like, this is one of my favorite things to eat, so I grabbed it. And then I was like, wait, my husband likes the strawberry. <laughs> so I grabbed the strawberry too. So I got the cheese coffee cake and the strawberry cheese coffee cake. Hey, we're just going to indulge this weekend and we're gonna have a yummy breakfast with this. We'll probably make some scrambled eggs and bacon as well. And the kids will eat this too, but that was totally me. Okay, I think 
that's it from the table. I hope I didn't forget anything. Now we're gonna come down here. I got this. This was my pick for lunch today. <laughs> this natural, Oscar Mayer natural uh, turkey, the cheese and wheat crackers. I really love this, super yummy. This was something else, again, with the strawberry. That Paige saw, she picked up, she wanted to try. I don't know if this is new, but I used to pick up Zevia all the time. I'm not a huge fan. I, I'm just, I don't like that fake sugar taste and this is really heavy in that, but my husband used to drink these all the time and Paige and I just stopped picking them up for some reason. They stopped requesting it, but she saw this and she came to, into the store with me and picked that up. Then I got this mega size 42 bag of the Frito-Lay flavor mix. I feel like everybody likes these. There was another box there that had two bags of chips and the kids were having a hard time but that other box, there were several that the kids would not eat. So I talked them into this one because they'll eat all of these and the flavor that they're missing out on is Funyuns and they wanted some like regular chips. So I told them that if I go to, is it Sam's Club that has like the buy two bags and they have those two that I would get them for that as well because this is gonna last all summer. So this box has five of the Lay's sour cream and onion, five barbecue, seven nacho cheese, five Cool Ranch, seven crunchy, uh, Cheetos, five Cheeto Puffs, four chili cheese Fritos, I love these, and four cheddar and sour cream ruffles. So something for everybody. Then I did let Pearl pick these. So she keeps asking me for the big jug of like the balls. And I feel like that jug is bigger. It's probably not, it's probably the same size, but it's at one of the bulk stores. I can't remember which one. And I saw these at HEB and I showed them to her and she's like, yes. <laughs> so I did let her get these and we can reuse. This is a nice size container. We can reuse this for something. So this just says, get your paws on something dangerously cheesy. So it's like the cheese puffs, but oh, here we go. There you go. Chester's paws. Uh, cheddar flavored. So just like the little cheese balls, but paws instead. All right, this, Bryce brought one of these home from school. He had like a little snack bag and the girls wanted some. He only had one. So I told them when we went to the store, I would see if they had it and we would buy a box. So this is definitely something that I don't, well, quite a few of these things I don't pick up normally, but it's summer. So I did pick up this. There's eight individually wrapped cupcakes, like birthday flavored in here by Hostess. So we did get those. We got a big old box of goldfish flavor blasted. That is their favorite. Rose really loves goldfish. So this will, this won't last a super long time. The pita chips are actually for Paige and I for that spinach dip. So we got the wheat and grain, and this is the HEB brand, and the sea salt. I think these will both be really good with that spinach dip. Then we got some cereal. So I let each of the kids pick out some. I asked Paige, she's like, nah, I don't want any cereal. So she didn't pick any out, and then I picked up mine out. So this is my favorite, frosted mini wheats. My husband likes this as well. Let's see, Bryce picked out the Reese's Puffs and I think I said Paige's age, but not the other three. Bryce is 10, he'll be going into fifth grade. And then Rose and Pearl are twins. They will be nine later this year and they're going into third grade. So Pearl picked out the Apple Jacks and then Rose picked out the Fruity Pebbles, which is so funny because this is not, when I ask them what cereal they want each month, this is not what they tell me. They've, they've asked for this before, but never these two. So it was definitely a different experience taking them into the store where they could actually see what was available versus me asking them and me and them telling me what they wanted. So while this is the majority of it, we're not done. Boom. <laughs> Over here. So we'll start over here because I do have just a couple non-food items. So Paige loves to keep plants in her room. She did pick up two little um, plants here. I don't know what they are. So she's got this white flower and then this pink one. And then we are fostering some puppies. Uh, originally it was six, but by the time you guys are seeing this, it'll only be four little puppies and they are chewing everything. I mean like my baseboards, they're chewing my baseboards. <laughs> so I'm trying to get like the chew toys for them. And this one has flavor. These ones have flavors to it. So I'm hoping that they gravitate towards these instead of um, my walls. We'll see, but these are all by Chew and Clean or Hearts Chew and Clean. Uh, Dental Duos are these two, edible or chew toy with edible center. We'll see how that works. I'm not sure. I'll keep an eye on them with these, but it says tasty bacon flavor. And then this one is a little different. It has like these knobs sticking out. You guys can't see that because of the glare, but it says bounce and bite. Durable chew toy with edible center, same thing, bacon flavor. I just picked these up, hopefully 
those help them help the pops a little bit. All right, for a taco night, I thought again, just changing it up a little bit. I got these nacho cheese flavored taco shells. Pearl has been requesting these, so she's gonna be excited about that. Well, she already knows that we picked them up, but when we have tacos and I pick, pull these out, she's gonna be excited. I have a couple different recipes for that call for chocolate chips, so I did get the bigger bag. This is 36 ounces, and then I'm also, I also need some white chocolate chips, so I just got the smaller bag of that. Here are the Hershey chocolate bars for our s'mores. Again, paid for this, and the graham crackers got the marshmallows for free. Some bananas, the kids go through phases where they'll eat them or they won't, but I'll eat them if they don't because I'm a huge fan of bananas. A pineapple, one of Rose's favorite fruits. I say favorite. They pretty much like all fruit, but whenever she thinks about it, she's like, pineapple, I need some pineapple. So we got a pineapple. The corn is for a sheet pan meal as well. So I got three fresh ears of corn, two zucchini for a dinner, some pretzel goldfish just to change things up. I thought this would be nice to add to one of their like little snack grazing boards that I'm going to create for them. And then Pearl and Paige got the sushi. Rose and Bryce got Lunchables for lunch today. So Rose got the mini hot dogs. However, she has already asked if I will heat them up for her. She's, she doesn't want them cold. So I will heat up the hot dogs for her. This is what she's having for lunch. And then Bryce loves sandwiches. So he picked the turkey and cheddar sub sandwich Lunchable. Rose picked the banana nut muffins. So this was her muffin of choice. And then I, picked these out and I think my husband will like these as well because I know those kids are going to pour through the chips so I picked up something that I could eat that way they have plenty on hand so this is the rice crisps there's 14 bags in there Paige might like these as well there's sweet barbecue for six of the cheddar and then four of the buttermilk ranch the ranch is my favorite then down here something else Paige picked up uh we have stuff for her to make sushi but I think she told me in the store that she got this because she wants to like break it up and add it to some of her rice dishes. I, I can't remember exactly, but she did want the sushi, the roasted, uh, or not sushi, the roasted seaweed. And these are, again, the like flat sheets, which are, which are great for making sushi. I got some Fritos for, we have some bean dips that we were given and they're in the pantry. So I went ahead and got the Fritos for that. And then two loaves of bread for sandwiches over the summer. I will, we have half of one in the fridge still. So these will go directly into the freezer and I'll be able to pull them out when we need them. These were on sale as well. They ended up being, I think they were a dollar 60 or 80, something like that each, but they ended up being a dollar a piece. So went ahead and got that. And these are just the HEB round top, large white breads. So here is Sam's as a whole. It was 382, but again, I'll have it broken out in the description box. I did get quite a few non-food items, but we will go ahead and start down here with the drinks, our typical uh, pack of Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. There's 35 cans in here. And then I am doing better at drinking regular water. So I only picked up one pack of the sparkling water for myself this month, this month and we'll see if I uh, pick up any <laughs> to get me through if I need any more. But this is a 24 pack. I did get the members mark. It was just the cheapest option. So that's what I went for. And I do like these flavors as well. So there's eight of the cherry limeade, eight of the watermelon citrus, and eight of the black cherry pomegranate. Then the kids do still have plenty of juice boxes, but I do feel like they will make a good dent in those and these will definitely be gone by the end of the month. So I just went ahead and picked up one of the 28 pack. They are the 12 ounce bottles. I've said this before. I do prefer these smaller ones for the kids and they are the Gatorade Zero Sugar. There's eight grape, 12 orange, and eight Glacier Freeze. And we did pick up some more paper plates. We actually have probably still a good half of the last one that we picked up last month, but I know we'll need some more before the end of the month, especially with the kids home more this summer. So uh, just went ahead and got the members mark. I'm pretty sure we've picked up the off brand before and we like it just as well. It is a little cheaper. There's 204 plates in here and these are the 10 and something inch plates. Um, a lot of this stuff is wet and some of the boxes are 
pretty uh, wet as well because it is thundering right now. And if you hear any noise in the background, the husband is doing the dishes. Awesome, right? So we've got quite a few different produce things going on. I got a bunch of tomatoes. I'm actually making some salsa this weekend uh, for we're getting together with my parents. They have a pool and the kids are really itching to go swimming. So this recipe is actually in my cookbook and it's always in the description box. It's in my Amazon store. So if you guys want to check it out, but this is my favorite salsa recipe. My mom used to make it for the longest time and I kind of just took it from her and now whenever we get together, she asks me to make it. So I'm also doubling the recipe because of how many family members are going to be there. So we got quite a few tomatoes. Not all of these are for the salsa, but a good chunk of them are. And this is just the Texas grown juicy and fresh tomatoes on the vine by Village Farm. So again, there's two of those. I got some cherub tomatoes because my kids really love snacking on these and this is what I put in our salads when we make salads. And then my husband is, has been obsessed with these ones lately, so we got these as well. And these are the Flavor Bombs Cherry Tomatoes on the Vine. I got some grapes for the kids. This is three pounds. I am popping up prices just like at HEB, but the price of this for three pounds was the same, about the same price as HEB for one pound, which I thought is crazy. So I do prefer to get my grapes or most of my produce at the bulk stores. I only need, I think three or four green bell peppers for this month, but I am gonna go ahead and chop the rest of them up and put them in a little freezer bag because my oldest daughter enjoys putting these in various dishes that she's making and um, sometimes we'll randomly just make omelets or something for breakfast and it's always nice to have peppers on hand and they freeze wonderfully. Driscoll strawberries is our favorite. I think last month we weren't able to find the Driscolls. I don't think so, but definitely our favorite. Look how big and red they look they are absolutely delicious i almost picked up two because of how quick my family goes through them but it's all right i'll be going to costco later on in the month so hopefully i can find some more then but this is a 32 ounce or two pound package a bag of limes and a bag of lemons we use these for mixed drinks and my husband likes to put them in water and I like to use the limes in my Coke Zero with that coconut uh, creamer that I got at HEB. Three cucumbers, my kids go through about one a week and if we have a salad that week, I put one in a salad. So this will definitely be something that I'll have to pick up, maybe not next week, but the following week. All right, this is a new find. So this is Eat Smart Chop Chopped Salad Kit. Everyday Favorites, Everything But The Bagel Ranch. This is, you guys can see here, it's a pretty small bag, 10 ounces. I think my daughter and I, um, Paige, will like this for a lunch or I'll just make it as an extra little side to dinner one night. But it is a triple washed, ready to use cabbage, red cabbage, carrots, broccoli, and kale with some toast pieces, everything seasoning packet, and everything ranch dressing. So not a whole lot of different ingredients going on, but I think this will be super delicious. It is a cherry season. Not everybody in the house loves cherries, but Pearl could definitely do some damage to this. I enjoy cherries too, and so does Paige. So I went ahead and got the cherries. Looking forward to pitting those and snacking on those over the next few days. I did get the bounce dryer sheets. This is a two count. I have a little more than half of one left, but I did go ahead and pick this up. I'm doing a lot more laundry than I used to because of the extra puppies in the house. Uh, definitely, you know, washing their bed sheets and all of that. So this has two boxes and each box has 160 in there. Then I needed some more Clorox too. I use this in almost everything. Uh, just definitely helps take out stains and keeps our colors fresh. And then as far as smelling good, I like the downy odor defense. So we got the little smelly beads for that. With the summer months upon us, definitely need to keep the kids sprayed down so they don't get sunburnt. So I got this new Neutrogena, it was on sale. There's three in there, that should last us. I do have a couple on hand, but they're not full. So hopefully that will last us through the summer. Just used our last trash bag, so we are kind of going later in the night than we normally do, but uh, we needed some trash bags. So there's 200 tall kitchen bags in there. This is the Members Mark. I don't know if we've picked up this brand before, the last time we got the Costco brand bags and we are definitely huge fans of those. So hopefully those work just as well. They are the 13 gallon Power Flex. My favorite makeup remover wipes. I believe these were on sale as well. So this is the Club Value Pack 
of the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. There's five packs in here that have 24 towels in them and then there's a little box in here that has 10 of the little one count which are perfect for traveling or when I run out of the big packs I just start using the little ones. I also let my girls keep a few of the little ones in their bathroom for when they're playing with their makeup. All right and then some laundry power packs. This is the Members Mark brand, 130 count, so that'll last us a good little while as well. Paper towels, we are almost out of paper towels as well. Again, just cleaning up after puppies. We've been going through a little bit more than, uh, or faster than we normally do. So there's 12 huge rolls in here. It says it equals 26 of like the normal size rolls, but we are huge fans of Bounty. I think they work great. Then coming down here, we used to pick this up almost monthly. My kids were huge kolache fans, but lately they haven't been eating them as often. I guess just because of the school morning, they do eat at school a lot. But since it's summertime, they actually had the last one this morning. So perfect timing going to Sam's Club. I went ahead and picked up another box. There's 20 in there and it's smoked sausage, real cheddar cheese, baked in dough. All right, I got some Cheez-Its. So I picked these up last month with some of those mini saltine crackers because I was gonna do something with them, but my kids found the Cheez-Its and ate them before I could do what I wanted to do. So I got this one because there's two bags in there. So I'm gonna take one bag and hide it in the back of my pantry where I like to stash things. And then the other bag I'll put out with the other kids snacks and they can go at it. <laughs> Speaking of dogs, we did pick these up. Now my dogs are older, they're 12, 13, and definitely, or 11 and 12, the cat is 13. Uh, they're just, they don't play with toys anymore. They just lounge, hang out, chill, they don't play. But the little puppies that we're fostering are extremely playful right now with their age. So I went ahead and picked these up for them because we are gonna have a few of them until early July, so still another month. This says made for rougher play, fringe, hay, hot stuff, a set of three durable plush dog toys. They did have another set. I think it had a llama. I almost picked that one up, but I just thought this one was super cute too. So it's got the little hot and spicy like Tabasco or Sriracha sauce, an avocado with the pit being a heart and a little burrito there. Again, I just thought that was super cute. So I picked that up. I got the two pack of the Simply Orange orange juice. We probably won't have to pick up orange juice. We were actually gifted a lot of the little school orange juices that the kids love. So between those and this, we might not have to pick up any more orange juice for the month. I really enjoyed this tilapia that we picked up last month. So I did go ahead and pick up another bag. It's the Parmesan encrusted tilapia. And this is two and a half pounds. So it made about two dinners for us. So that'll be good to have this month. I wasn't going to pick up pizza rolls because I do feel like we have a lot of lunchy and snacky items on hand, but they were still on sale and my kids love them. So I did opt to go ahead and pick these up. It's the two bags. Each bag has about 80 in it and it's the combination. All right, this is something new. So I need some cream cheese. I've always picked up the Philadelphia, but Sam's does not have Philadelphia. It's Costco that has that. So I hope that this is good. I'm sure it is, but I've, again, I've just never tried it. So it's the six bar of cream cheese and rascas. Is that how you say that? I'm not sure, but the bars are eight ounces. So just like regular cream cheese, we'll see how that goes. All right, I skipped out on the fried pickle and ranch dip last month because I was really the only one that was eating it. Pearl likes it too, but she's in school half the day. So this time, since it is summertime, I did go ahead and pick it up. <laughs> I figured, you know what? There's an extra person in the house that can help me eat this. I might try to freeze some. I didn't do that last time, and I did have to end up tossing about a maybe a third of it. So I'm gonna try to freeze a little bit and hopefully that works, but this stuff is so, so good. What Pearl um, showed me last time and I really liked is we had pizza rolls one time for lunch and she dipped it in that and then I tried it, super yummy. <laughs> so don't, don't hate on it until you try it, but it's really good. So we got that. All right, this was kind of an impulse buy. Bryce came home, this is something else. So those little cupcakes and then this. He came home with a pack of this and he really, really enjoyed it and the girls wanted to try it. So I saw this at Sam's, went ahead and picked it up. So I think he came home with one of the Snickers bags. This is a variety pack. So there's 16 pop packs in here and it is candy pop popcorn. So there's five packs of the Snickers, there's six packs of the mini M&Ms and then there's five packs of the Twix. My oldest daughter might like that because she used to love Twix candy. 
I'll have to make sure I show her that. And it does say 150 calories per bag. So I got that totally impulse. Just thought my kids would enjoy it. These two bags of chips are not staying here. They are going to my parents' house when I make that salsa. So I did get two of the big bags. All right, we have not picked up eggs in quite a while. We actually went about a month and a half, almost two months, the last time we picked up one of these boxes. So I um, definitely have not been eating eggs as often. So we'll see if this lasts us the whole month or if it goes into July as well. But this is the five dozen large eggs and the price has gone down. It was only about seven something the last time or last month. I don't think I picked it up last month, but the price was like nine something, which was crazy. All right, I just used the last of our taco seasoning. So I went ahead and picked up a big one because I do use this quite often. And then some more chips. So I showed you guys the variety pack and these were the two that were in that other variety pack that the kids really wanted. So I was like, man, that's a lot of chips, but this is just stocking up for summer. July's haul should be fairly or significantly smaller. So I did go ahead and opt to get these. So Funyuns and Lay's Classic. If you guys hear the storm, the rain and the lightning, it's getting closer. All right, we are huge fans of this black label fully cooked bacon. You just pop it in the microwave and good to go. My kids can get this out in the morning and make themselves some. Very nice to have and it tastes pretty good too. All right, I don't know if I've ever picked up the little mini croissants, but I thought this would be something fun to do with as sandwiches instead of just the bread. I did pick up bread and I am putting those in the freezer and then half of this in the freezer, but just to change up lunch and everything once in a while, cause the kids, you know, they're not gonna wanna eat the same thing every single day. So I did get those croissants. I'm also gonna make some egg salad and I love egg salad with lettuce on croissants. Although you know what? <sighs> I didn't write down romaine lettuce and I didn't pick any up. Oh well. I don't need the lettuce. It's still good with the egg salad and the croissant. Um, I did pick some hot dogs up. This is another just super easy thing to have on hand for lunches and dinners during the summer. We can just throw on the grill and cook them up. This is a 24 count. I believe these were on sale as well. And then something else that I like to just switch things up, we can turn these into little mini pizzas or use them to dip in all sorts of stuff, but we're huge fans of these little non bites. And was that it? I think that's it. All right, that is everything from Sam's, but let's turn over here. I couldn't get everything on my list. One, shopping at HEB with all of the kids was a little hectic and I missed out on a few things. And then two, I couldn't find some of the stuff at Sam's Club. So as soon as I finished from Sam's, ran into Target and this is the last of the haul. So Target was a, a little over $60, I think 61 or 62. So mainly just produce here. I got some cilantro for the salsa as well as the jalapenos. I think there's six in here. Look how big these are. These are humongous. I cannot wait. I haven't made this salsa in a while and my mouth is watering for it. I also got some green onions for the salsa, a red bell pepper for a meal, red onion for a meal, this three pound bag of red potatoes, some baby spinach for a recipe. And then I'm also gonna be cooking up this boneless pork shoulder butt roast this month. So picked that up as well as some potato gnocchi. This is gonna be for a sheet pan meal. And then non-food, I go back and forth. Most of the time I do make fresh homemade food for my dogs that gets mixed into their dry food. However, I'm just a little overwhelmed this month with everything that we have going on. So I did just opt to pick up food for this month. If I do have time, I will make some, but this is just nice to have as a backup. So my dogs, um, we have two big dogs that get this at with their dinner time. So I did pick up two. These cans are really small, so they'll have one each day. So this will last me 15 days for my two dogs. So I did get two packages. It's the Perina Beneful uh, Medleys, perfect for mixing, which is what I do. You guys see that shadow? It's super dark. All right, so there's 10 cans of the Romana style, with chicken, carrots, pasta, and spinach, 10 cans of the Mediterranean style with lamb, tomatoes, brown rice, and spinach, and then 10 cans of the Tuscan style, which is beef, carrots, tomatoes, and rice, and then it does have a little thing here that says in sauce. 
So perfect timing because I don't know how loud that storm is to you guys, but it is definitely rolling in. So I'm gonna leave you guys and put up my groceries. All right, so that is my monthly grocery haul for the month of June. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I do one of these once a month and I have a lot of other yummy goodness out of my kitchen that I share with you guys the remainder of the month. So I will have a last month's grocery haul up here just in case you missed it. Don't forget to check out Mama Cat's channel down below. Leave her a lemon emoji if you are new to her channel so she know that I sent you. If you guys are new from her channel, welcome. I am so glad you stopped by. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.